Okay, so the storage bar. We've got three sheets, each one's unique. And uh, as usual, we're gonna start by popping out the walls on this one. Okay, so here's the walls. What I'm gonna do, uh, as usual, I'm gonna start by assembling the ground floor first um, before I move on to the top floor and I'll open the windows as I go because it's easy to do that for the first time. It's easy to do that when you first first um, uh, yeah, st start your setup straight from the box. Okay, so here we go. Okay, that's your ground floor there. Um, on this particular build, be extra careful when opening the uh, the little double window here because you've got one window on a, uh, a kind of a thinner piece of card here. So you really need to just be careful when opening that one. Uh, but uh, yeah, otherwise that's the, the ground floor. I'm now going to pop out the uh, floor tile for the upper floor and assemble the upper floor. Uh, unlike the townhouse, this floor assembles with uh, T-clips. Just three clips on this this uh, floor tile because there is no space for a clip because of the big double doors at the front of here. Okay, so when assembling this top floor, what you want to do, you want to leave the with the barn doors facing forward, you want to be able to leave the prongs, the spare prongs on the T-clip facing forward here and facing backwards, okay? Because uh, that's where we're gonna put our struts on. Uh, but otherwise, that is the top floor of here. Um, also, when putting this floor, unlike the others, um, when you put this floor on top, you'll see that it doesn't fit centrally, okay? It either fits to one side or the other. And I've assembled the door on this side here so that I can then build the stairs onto this side here. So not all the buildings are central. They all, all come in all sorts of weird different shapes. So uh, yeah, that's basically the uh, the top two, um, uh, the, the ground floor and the top floor. I'm then gonna put the little apexes on uh, the top here as well. So I'll do that now. Be extra careful not to bend this weaker part on this door when putting this clip on. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you hold this and support it when pushing this clip down. Now you notice on top there's a there's a slot here. Um, so what I'm gonna do, um, this kind of works. Um, there's like a winch that goes on the front and, 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 and it kind of combines itself with a nice little archway and some struts. So I'm gonna pop those parts out now and I'm gonna show you how to assemble that. You'll notice on these that there's lots of little areas where you can punch out lots of tiny little cuts and it really gives these beams a nice kind of um, beamy look, I guess. Uh, so make sure you get all of those before you assemble. Okay, so you've got your four beams, uh, the kind of strut beams, and you've got this nice apex shape here and this is your little, um, uh, little winch, as it were. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna take the two larger, uh, fatter if you like, wider um, struts and we're going to pop those on the front of the building where the barn door is and we're going to place these ones at the back and as you can see that sits nicely like that and that will also allow you to sit this on top of your building here um, which looks really cool and it means when you want to get into the lower floor the building stands up, your minis don't move around inside, plus any furniture, etc. you've got in there. Okay, so um, what we wanna do now is we wanna put this nice little kind of apex beam in here as well. But we're also going to want to insert this little crane um, at the same time. Uh, and this little crane bit basically just goes through there like that. Okay, um, and then once that's in, you can kind of, pop in your apex beam into the two slots on the side here, whilst at the same time, you kind of drop this 
into the slot in the front of the apex. Okay, and then you just ease them both down together into their areas, dropping them down as you go. Make sure that you don't try and push this whilst it's whilst these beams are, because this, you know, you don't want to bend these. So while I'm pushing, I'm kind of, you know, doing it while supporting the underneath. <clears throat> and then you end up with this here, which again sits nicely on its little um, on its little ground floor. Okay, so next um, we're going to put on the roof. Okay, and just like all of the roofs, it's it, it's basically the last thing that we uh, assemble, and we're going to very carefully um, bend this through to make sure that it, it fit. We don't over bend it. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So we've got two two. Uh, two roof sides, one long beam, and then we've got two clips. These clips um, are, are special um, compared to many of the other clips because they have a curve underneath here. This is to allow for the crane that runs just, just underneath here, the uh, the winch, sorry, that runs underneath here. Okay, so we've marked these with a little red symbol as, a, to, as opposed to the normal black symbol. So they're a little bit more easier to identify if you chuck all your clips in one box at a later date. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to bend through this. And again, we're going to be really super careful and we're going to just give it a very slight bend. So remember, these should be quite hard to bend on purpose because they are quarter cuts and not half cuts. Okay, once I've done that and I've got a very kind of shallow bend on that, I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, assemble the clips onto it as well. Remember, these clips should be a tight fit. So they kind of like edge their way in. Okay, and then we put the beam on top. Excellent. And again, the beam should be a very tight fit as well. So that really is, you know, uh, kind of nice and sturdy. I'm going to pop this over here and we're going to see how that looks on the house. And I'm looking here. I think, yeah, it's a little bit bouncy. I think I need a little bit more of a bend on it. So very carefully, I'm just going to bend it that fraction more. Yeah, I like that. I think that's perfect. Um, if you do slightly overbend, you can bend it back. But if you just completely crease, you mustn't try and bend or completely crease these roofs. Um, okay, so there you go. Um, that actually, uh, I'm very very happy with as, as well. And this this roof kind of sits forward a bit, so that these beams kind of line up here. Um, just gives it that really kind of nice cool effect. Okay, so here's our storage barn. Really, really nice uh, storage barn. Really, really nice um, uh, building. Very, very happy with that. Nice, unique roof, etc. Um, uh, we still have uh, our lower floor to pop in. Okay, so you can do that. Like so. And we've also got some other scatter items on our sheets as usual. Uh, things like some stairs. Here's one I made earlier, okay, that go off um, up to the side of this particular building. Um, and they are all here. Um, here's your stairs. We've got some more barrels. We've got a ladder for the front of the barn. And we've also got on here um, uh, so cargo, uh, some cargo chests uh, and uh, like uh, boxes. And we've got the wheels and the cart uh, that go with that as well. Um, and those are all covered in our dedicated scatter terrain video. But otherwise, that is our lovely storage barn.